if you now have the playoffs ahead of you and you want to be at your absolute personal best, Sleep is the foundation. Here we go again. Hi, I'm back for the third time. Uh, today will be our, for this season, the last workshop on sleep. So we talk with the players again um, about what to do to improve your sleep. Today we'll talk a bit more about a perfect sleeping environment. No matter the weather outside, it's still better to go outside because keys from nature and keys from natural sunlight are more powerful than anything we have artificially inside. When it comes to sleep, it's important to remember that we all have this internal clock, a circadian rhythm. Now, the internal clock helps you to repeatedly switch between wakefulness and sleep. Your internal clock also takes signals from the outside to adjust itself to the environment. Bright light promotes wakefulness and alertness, while darkness helps your body to release a hormone called melatonin, which will later help you to prepare for sleep. To improve your sleep quality, you should expose yourself to as much sunlight and bright light in the first half of the day whereas you should dim the light intensity in the second half of the day. What if we have a perfect sleeping environment at home, but now you're on the road and you sleep in a hotel, for example? I have a new bed for us to make sure that we sleep in a hotel. I think that the most important thing is the bed quality, whether it's hard or soft, or how it is cushion. Usually I always sleep really good in my bedroom, but to come to a hotel is a different kind of circumstances, different bed, different pillow. So uh, yeah, of course it's uh, a bit more difficult to, to have like a good sleep. If you find it difficult to sleep in a new environment, you're not alone. It happens to quite a few of us. And this is why scientists even termed it the first night effect. To fight the first night effect, it can help a lot to bring something that reminds you of home. The reason is that our brains are very sensitive when it comes to smell. So if you bring your own pillow or, for example, the weighted blanket with you when you travel, the smell of home will not only evoke a feeling of comfort and remind you of home, but importantly, it will also create a sense of familiarity. And this will be transmitted also to your brain. So you kind of tell your brain, hey, I know where I am, I am safe, and I can relax fully, and this will also make it easier to sleep well. If you have the pillow with you when you travel, it's also the ergonomics of it because you're used to the shape, you're used to materials, you know exactly what it is and you can also be totally sure that you have the perfect pillow with you. The most important thing I learned is, I think, is to do the GSM. And if you don't have to sleep, maybe take a bath, 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 take dat je niet op een vrije dag tot 12 uur in je bed ligt, maar dat je ook te vast uur houdt. De score dat ik zou geven op mijn slaap is nacht half op tien, omdat ik ook frisser ben gedurende de dag. Vroeger had ik wel zo slecht humeur of zo, uh, maar de nabedag toen omdat ik dan moe werd. At this moment I will say eight, eight and a half, and hopefully with the time and uh, get the routines going every single week, then we will be even closer to the ten. This will be your last workshop for the season. I wish you all the best for the playoffs. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.